Okay, this is the crossing over lab. Me and Ms. Torello are gonna demonstrate for you. So you and your partner each have an envelope and the first thing you need to do is empty your chromosomes onto your desk. Okay. Okay. Step two is to draw a picture of the chromosome in the cell you have on your worksheet yeah. that's labeled parent cell. Okay, step three is to pair up the chromosomes with your partner that have matching letters. Step four is to cut off a piece from your chromosome, from each one of your chromosomes. Yeah. Okay, once you have the little pieces cut off of your chromosome, Step five is to attach the piece to your partner's chromosome with tape. So the ones that are the same letters, like what Ms. Torello is doing now, just tape it on there. Tape them in the back. Okay, once you get all of your little pieces taped, your cell should be looking something like this. And then step six is to pull apart each of your matching chromosomes. Okay. Um, so now step seven, cut apart each side of the chromosomes that you have. So you should have four chromosomes and your partner should have four like we do right now. And you're gonna cut right down the middle, being careful of the little piece that is taped on. So you're cutting apart the two sister chromatids, just like what Ms. T is doing now. Okay, so now you and your partner should each, each have the chromosomes cut apart into individual chromatids, and now you're gonna separate those two sides. So you're gonna separate the chromatids from each other. Now remember, because of independent assortment, they may go either way. So this piece may actually come to this side and this piece goes over here, but just make sure that you separate each of them so that you end up with separate gametes. So now this represents the four daughter cells that you're going to have. So one, two, three, four. Each one has four chromosomes in it. And now the last step is to draw this, you and your partner's four daughter cells, onto your lab sheet right here. So I'm drawing the chromosomes into my daughter cells. So in this one, I have some that have part of a blue and part of a pink, so just indicate that on your paper. Okay, so to help you see it a little better, we drew four circles on here. So these are like the four cells that you end up with. The daughter cells are gametes. 
and so you end up with the same number of chromosomes in each of the four daughter cells and they have half the number of chromosomes, so they're haploid cells, and this is what you should draw on your lab paper.